guys how can you run llms on mac so for this video we are going to use olama to install olama we will just go to our browser type in download olama for mac hit enter so here you can see we have download olama on mac os so for mac it is already selected click download and it will download a zip file once you've downloaded the zip file you'll also get an option uh, to just run the app so i have actually already installed the app so we'll go to launchpad and here you can see i currently have olama inbuilt so even if i run olama so here you can see we have welcome to olama click on next uh, we'll also install the olama command line let's install that for this you will need an admin name and password so let's put that in after you've done that hit ok and here you can see run your first model uh, olama run uh, llama 3.2 so by default it is actually running llama 3.2 let's hit finish but here you can see again that nothing has actually popped up after we hit run for that you want to go to terminal let's go to terminal uh, we'll go to launchpad we'll go to other and here we have terminal alternatively you can also just use spotlight search let's start with our first command uh, for our first command we will type in olama run llama 3 so hit enter and here you can see pulling manifest and now it is actually downloading llama 3 so the file is going to be big it is about 4.7 gb in this case so we'll let it download and then i'll get back to it so guys while this is installing let me show you uh, how olama models are so let's go to olama.com as i have here and then you want to go to models so we have multiple models so the latest one is llama 3.3 if i just click on that here you can see by default it is a 70 billion uh, model and if you want to run it here you can see on the right side we also have olama run llama 3.3 so we have to actually specify that we are running llama 3.3 llama 3.3 has 70 billion so if i go to llama just 3.1 so here you can see by default it is set to 8 billion so if i just run olama uh, run llama 3.1 it is going to be 8 billion but if i go to 70 billion uh, here you can see it is 43 gb so that is a big difference also you want to consider your laptop's ram so if your laptop's ram is around 8 to 16 gb i would not suggest that you go uh, beyond 70 uh, billion because it will take up a lot of uh, computing power so 8 gb is simply not going to cut it by the way if you're wondering what i am running this on currently i am using a macbook air m1 so it's not a very powerful machine it has only 8 gigabytes of ram so this is going to be the main key point as to how you can run these big LLMs on uh, 8 gigs, right? So for that, you can see this is 70 billion, but uh, I say 70 billion, you have 8 billion as well. So 8 billion obviously will be quicker and here you can see it is also quantized. So if it's not quantized, it's going to be a much larger data, a much finer data. But if you actually use it, if you ask it a question, it may take even days uh, to just compute and get back to you. So it is going to be uh, very <laughs> dreadful, honestly. So we'll just go to a 70 billion uh, with a quantized model. So it is currently about 43 gigs. So other than that, guys, if we want to go to an unquantized model, I would strongly suggest that you go to a 16 gig, a six, the 32 bit, a 64 gig uh, model of your Mac. So I, I know that it is expensive to buy, but that is what is going to actually help you out with running these models. So let's go back to terminal. So here you can see that it is successfully installed Llama 3. So let's get cooking, right? So let's just say is it GB RAM enough to run an LLM on Mac M1. So here you can see I have typed in a question. Let's hit enter. And now I'll also run utility manager along with this. So you, you can straight away see that the computer has gotten slow. There is no doubt about it. Let's hit activity monitor. It's really stuttering right now. If I go to memory, you can see that memory pressure has gone up immediately, right? So memory pressure has gone up. It says app uh, wired memory and compressed. Everything is currently under a lot of pressure. So uh, the way this works, we also have a graphics processor right so the graphic processor is going to take some processes uh, process it and put it back into uh, the process uh, the main processor so here you can see the process uh, the memory pressure has gone down and this is probably because our answer is here so here it says in general 8 gb ram is considered relatively low for running llms especially those that require large processing amounts of text data 
here's why so there are multiple models so the first thing is llm models are power hungry which is very true uh, model llms have hundreds of millions uh, or even billions of parameters of ram process we have limited ram bandwidth so all of this is actually true so as we can see we are back to our normal usage uh, honestly i don't know how my audio has come out to be uh, while it was actually processing so that is one thing so we could also ask it some other questions maybe how do processor to... and then again we are going to go back to activity monitor We'll also put on percentage G. Incredibly slow is what I'll already tell you. So again, here's the cut now. So it is actually giving me an answer. Again, I don't know how my audio is coming to be uh, while this is processing. So we'll wait for it. And in the background again, you can see how the memory pressure is coming. So it's also writing me a conclusion now. So yeah, it's given. Uh, so I actually hit enter and I've stopped it. If you want, you can do that as well. So. Let's see. Uh, I've asked it: Is M1 a good processor to run LLMs? Uh, M1 is a powerful processor. It's efficient, but it's suitably for running large language model depends on several factors. So it's given me pros and cons. So first is it's energy efficient. New, uh, neural network acceleration. We can do that on M1. Uh, single thread performance m1 excels in single thread performance workloads and cons we have multi limited multi threading support which is a drawback obviously a uh, lower memory bandwidth uh, limited gpu support so again i'm not actually using a macbook pro this is a macbook air so with that honestly i am quite satisfied but i would not ask too much of it because if i ask too much of it it is going to be very slow and as i said it's going to take a lot of time giving me answers so let's try running llama 2 as well okay so how do i know what llama 2 command is if i want to install it and run it we'll again go uh, to llama 2 so here you can see we have llama 2 and uh, this is the uncensored one uh, which is fine so again we have 7 billion one and 70 billion one so if it's a 7 billion uh, non quantized uh, model so it might take a lot longer than 70 billion quantized so as i said the main difference is the quality of data that is available 70 billion is still a lot a lot of data but it is quantized so for now i'll just go with 7 billion just for uh, the fun of it then we'll again go back to uh, terminal i've hit the uh, paste option and now it's pulling in manifest so it's going to download llama 2 for me so as it says it is 3.8 gigs it also says 3.8 gigs here so that checks out it may take a few minutes obviously because it is a lot of data so we'll wait we are almost done downloading llama 2 uncensored 7 billion model 7 billion again is a quantized data so and other small packages are also being installed and here you can see it is now successful so if i'm confused i can just uh, ask for help for help as you can see we have slash and question mark so if i do that here you can see all the available commands and also use the quotes for uh, to begin a multi-line message so you can do that as well so again let's ask it the same question uh, is a gb enough or lightweight I think we are good. Let's hit enter. Oh, I have uh, forgotten the G uh, O D here. So, 8 GB RAM. So you can immediately see uh, how different this is, right? With the Llama 2, uh, that is one thing, and uh, 7 billion as one thing. So the size of the data is tremendously different. So we so 70 billion gave us a lot of information with multiple points. So Llama 2 with 7 billion is able to give us a lot less data whereas we saw in Llama 3 with 70 billion even though it was quantized uh, we had a lot of data with multiple points stating why this is good why this is bad and everything like that right. So as whether for M1 processor it is good for lightweight uh, language models it really depends on the size and complexity of the model. So I think we are good with the 7 billion parameter here. Uh, 70 billion is good I think if you go beyond that it's going to be a problem for that I would uh, honestly suggest again uh, you go for a higher uh, memory option for your Mac uh, with also uh, memory as in the RAM and uh, the ROM as well. So. Uh, the, my computer is 256 GB so this is really not going to cut it for uh, a lot of high processing stuff so I think this was very easy guys I hope you found it the same way I also hope that you like this video if you have drop a like share and subscribe and let me know if you want to see more AI videos Ulama videos uh, in the comments right so yeah see you next time